Hello and welcome to the Dutchin channel. It's Friday evening, the 5th of April 2024. It's just gone half past eight in the evening and we're going to do, do the results show, which didn't include Dundalk today. That's why I'm a little bit earlier than normal. It, it just was Lingfield and Musselburgh, even though I did put the selections up at Dundalk for the people that wanted to follow the Irish racing. So, we managed to get a very small profit today. And it's a real shame because I went 2 nil up at Lingfield and I thought, well, oh, makings of a half-decent day here. Then I lost three on the trot. So that, that wasn't great across the cards. And then I got back by four. And then, as you can see, the last two races this evening at Musselburgh, both defeated so it was a 34 pound and three pence profit it isn't great but at the end of the day it's a profit not a loss and we want to try and peg back to where we want to be so let's have a look at Lingfield first of all we staked 250 pounds here and returned 300 so we made a 50 pound profit at Lingfield but Musselburgh unfortunately i just needed that last winner and of course our nap was running in it and what happened it was a non-runner so you end up on something else that you don't particularly want at the end of the day and uh, we made a 15 pound 97 loss at musselburgh so again it was a couple of favorites today here and there and some better price winners but it was still it, you know, there were still some outsiders that, that didn't help us, really. So anyway, that was that. Now I'm just going to move on to the nap while I was here. I did have to take the nap out because it was good times, bad times. And then just put the second one in, which I also gave you at the time as well, funny enough. I think I've tried to give about four or five naps out today with all the abandonments and everything else. So our nap ended up in the 6-10 at Musselburgh with Curly Finger. This was the second selection that I did give out when I reformed it all again. And because there was a non-runner in that race, I made it around even money. It went off at 5.81, so the stakes would have been £17.21. It ran a good race, actually, and duly finished third. So it was another loss on the nap table but in five days there is still a profit there of 37 pounds and two pence and when i do the racing selections for tomorrow which i've already done and of course we've got a depleted lot of racing again tomorrow because it's all been abandoned so i've only got 14 races to put forward tomorrow Right, so that is about it on my sheet here. And this is what's happened from the start of the week. You can see that I've had two profitable days out of the five. So two winners, three losers. But I'm still showing a loss here at the moment in them five days of £439.30. And of course, if this was to a one pound stake i would be down nearly nine units so nine pound i would be down roughly but it's not as bad as it looks because if you was betting like this every day for one pound stakes in five days you'll be down one pound 80 a day and when you think of how many bets that we've actually had which is on a total now of 87. It's pretty much, it, it's not easy. This isn't something that, you know, you come into it and think, oh, I'll sign up and everything else and I'll just draw me money out after five days and take all my profit because it doesn't work like that. This is something that I do long term. 
And at the moment, if I was in and losing nine pound after five days for a pound steak, I, I wouldn't be upset about it. But when you've had 87 bets, I like, when I get round to 100 bets, I like to have profited 100 pounds. So in something like this, you should be in 13 bets time, somewhere like two pounds in credit for your one pound stake. But it's, it's not going to be unless we go through the card, which I've done before. You know, we've only got 14 selections before. The most I had straight off has been 13. And the most losers I've had in one day is eight lower than the winners, if you know what I mean. So if we had 20 winners, I would have had 28 losers. So it would have been a minus eight. But the most I've actually one in one day it's been 15 so imagine you get 20 losers you've got 35 winners so that's what i've managed to do there but the 13 i just explained was how many i did on the trot without a loser so we're nowhere near down yet we've only gone five days in so you know no, no one's happy when you're losing money nobody at all but it is not the end of the world there's plenty of time to go. So what we'll do, we'll have a look back into today's racing, starting with the first race at Lingfield, 2 o'clock. This favourite one, as it liked. Absolute brilliant win, and this started me off. Louisiana Bay, Eugene Murphy, won as it liked. So that was a great start. Then moving into the second race here, unavailable, another one who came through and won well. And I thought, mm, two out of two, let's see what we can do here. And then, it, my luck had run out then, and Hiramichi came through in the 4.05. It was only our selection under our last one. It wasn't the end of the well, considering, you know, this has gone off at 10.98. But I didn't get the second either, so that was a, a line through that. Another bad race. And then... The 440, Diamond Dreamer came through and won by a nose. And I had Nordic Glory, not, not for the complete amount of money, but by drawing that one, still would have given me a £100 profit. And I thought it had won until they showed the replay and then slowed it down. And then I thought, oh my God, now it's got up. One by a nose, the other one. And in the morning, when I was giving the prices out, I actually had that one. So it shows you, even though you're betting later on during the day, you're getting better prices, but in sometimes they're backing other horses and your prices are going down. So you end up doing less horses. And then in the last race at Lingfield, I had Go Go Yubari, which went off favourite. But that was another race where it wasn't easy. And maybe it was my turn this time to win by a nose. I think it may have, I think it was a head in the end. But it looked a lot closer when I first watched it. So you lose one, you win one. That's how it goes. So that was the end of Lingfield. Then we went to Musselburgh. And the first race there we had a bet was 5.05, Sunday Soldier, our top selection, won well, won really well in fact. And that went off at 6.19. Then into the second race there at 5.40, the odds on favourite came, well I say odds on, it ended up 5-4 to four in the end, it was trading odds on early. And it was my fifth selection, and at some point during the race, I thought, this isn't going to win. And of course, I've got every other horse covered. So that was another one where this, this was the £34 and three pence that I, I got up for the day. This was on this horse at the end of it all. But anything else would have won, it would have given me £100 back. So, you know, a little bit unfortunate there. Then we went into the 6.10, 
Velasco won this. But not just that, if you look, I've given the second and third as well. So a combination tri-cast with my first three selections. Did well there, but Velasco was the outsider of most of those. That went off at 11.4, so that was a good winner. And then this race sort of let me down, the 6.40. Mac the man had won it, but it had gone away with the second there, which was... Um, Harter do Dari. So I was out of that race. There. I was never looking like anything was coming off the pace. I had the fourth, that was the closest I got there, but it weren't good. And then the last race, I thought, well, this is going to make or break here. This is where I'm going to get some profit today 134 or 34. And of course, this is where we had the nap running, good times, bad times. That was pulled out a little bit earlier. So we ended up on Isholo de Vivienne. And this is Bob. They were the only two that we could afford to back in that race. And it never looked like I was going to get the winner. Even though it ended up second there. Not in Kansas. Just went away. And that was another disappointment really. So it could have been so different today. Because when you start off with two winners, you think to yourself, right, now let's, let's crack on with that. And as I say, then I, I lost three in a row, then I won two in a row, and then one in front again. But at, at the end of the day, it, you know, a profit is a profit. Whatever it is, £34.03 and three pence is better than getting hammered like I did on the 1st of April. So anyway, that's the results for today. Um, not much more to tell you. I've filled you in with the figures on where I am. I'm now going to do the selections for tomorrow, which you've already done. I said there's only 14 races tomorrow that we're going to be covering. And again, if anything gets abandoned, I'll most really end up trying to do the cover or something. But I, I don't put the Irish racing into what I'm doing with the subscription people. You know, we're there. I've showed you how that's cracking on at the moment. If you've done a pound stake in it, you're £8.79 under. And all you've got to do is times that by 5, 10, 15, 20, whatever you've staked. And that's how we are doing at the moment. It, I say it isn't great. We're only five days in. And if your first day is the worst day you've had, it is going to still be under. You're not going to grab everything back and in five days have this healthy profit and have holiday on it. It's just not going to work like that. But anyway, that, that's all for tonight on that. And I'll catch you in the morning again on the exchange and we'll put them 14 races. I most probably, I've got, I think I've got three meetings. I, I might do three videos. I, I'll see how it goes because we're not guaranteed Utoxeter is going to be on yet. They did have a two o'clock inspection this afternoon and they said it's fit for racing if it would have been this afternoon. But of course, overnight, they don't know if they're expecting rain at the moment. So they will inspect again tomorrow morning at 7.30. So I have done some selections in that and we'll have a nap as well. So make sure you watch that one. And we'll catch up tomorrow, and I hope you've all had a good day's punting.